So my name is uh, Julio Moreno, uh, PU Specialist 2 for Cup of Happy. Uh, fun fact about myself is I know three languages, uh, English, Spanish, and American Sign Language. My name is Lauren, I'm 22 years young, uh, I'm a PU Specialist 2, hopefully still, uh, and I live in an RV, a little pop-up camper with my dog. And I can play ukulele and guitar. Um, my name is Jessica, and I have an obsession with serial killers, murders, and various types of crime. Hi, I'm Cheryl Hunter. Uh, let's see, fun fact about me. Um, I like to play bass guitar. Uh, my name is Love. Uh, my middle name is Nova, my last name is BB, so that's um, interesting, I guess, to a lot of people. A uh, fun fact that everybody likes to make fun of me about is that I'm Greek. Um, I treat my dogs like they're my children and my cat. Um, my name is Stephanie. Um, a fun fact about myself, um, when I'm like talking to a person or having a conversation, they don't tend to notice but I tend to draw my feelings out on paper without them noticing them. Like, it could either be happy or sad. It just, it's a t tendency of mine. My first impression with Cup of Happy, at first I thought it was going to be a little bit strict and, but at the same time I thought it was going to be like those high school cheerleaders type of groups or something. But then my impressions have changed throughout working with them because we're literally just a group of weirdos and we're just really fun and open and just really family type. Like we may be cold to each other sometimes but very like loving. Like, we'll be mad at each other, like, hey, do you want to go to Circle K and get something to eat? Like, I'll buy it for you, and I'm like, okay. So, I, working with them has kind of made me the person I am now. I used to be very close off to people, and I didn't talk to anybody. But now I, like, talk a lot more than I used to. <laughs> uh, my first impression was pretty interesting, because I had no idea what this was. Um, before this, I worked in kind of customer service so this was a whole different change for me um, moving from customer service to actually like a service where people actually want you to be here was interesting um, my first impression was well I'm actually gonna make a difference um, especially with the team I had at the time they actually kind of really encouraged me to move beyond what I was comfortable with to the, the unknown they actually pushed me to do different activities and to kind of create my own stuff and that helped me kind of become the person I am now. My first impression uh, as far as Cup of Happy was when I saw the ad for the coordinator position and I thought, Cup of Happy? That sounds like a pretty cool deal. Spreading cups of happiness everywhere. I didn't know really what it was about until I read up on it. But my first impression was that I thought it sounded like a very needed thing in the Coachella Valley. I also thought that the people here were going to be a little bit too professional, so that's why I came off like super professional posh, but it's, no, there we're all a bunch of dummies and goofballs. <laughs> My first impression of Cup of Happy was um, hilarious. I was, I was under the impression that Cup of Happy was the most serious and uh, how do I word it, um, like agonizingly serious job that, you know, everything was so important we had to be just, but then I realized a really cup of happy because all of us here have our own experiences with the field. It's just more, it's the most important thing is to just be yourself about it because as ourselves, that's when we're educating people. So my first impression was totally off and as much as we all tease each other we love each other so we know how to react now my sister was like a peer support for adults for a year or so and i asked her about about it and she told me that, she told me what it was it was like basically being a listening ear and not necessarily a counselor but more of a life coach and that's when the 
Tay Center was like starting to, was like barely in formation. They hadn't had a venue yet. They were barely getting the idea. So I went to one of the Tay collabs and it was there that I started getting a, like an idea or like thinking about a career within mental health. And that was also when Cheryl uh, approached me and I, and I found my opening to, to get in. Um, my friend actually found this job. Uh, he was looking for a management position and while looking on the uh, working site, he actually found this job and told me, hey, I know you've been looking for a job you know, to, in mental health, so here's this job. And to me, at first I thought like, oh, there's no way they're gonna hire me. So I still did it anyways, cause like, you know what? I'm gonna try it out. You know, I wanna be the new person. So after I got the call, you know, I did the interview, I was so nervous. I thought like, man, I probably messed up. But after I got the second interview, I was so uh, excited. Uh, at the time, um, we had to make our own activities for the second interview. So I was nerve wracking. I actually made like four activities because I'm like, you know what? I gotta make sure this is I can get this job. And getting that call, knowing that I can I actually got this job, was like the best moment of like these past few years. Um, what drew me to Cup of Happy at first, to be honest, um, I didn't know what Cup of Happy was, but I told myself. Um, you know, just give it a shot to see what it's about. And once I learned it was about mental health, it just drew me even closer to it. And it was actually the first time I actually opened up to other people about myself and told them my story. And I just liked it so much and I actually continued here. So I, I guess that's what drew me. It's the people itself also in Cup of Happy Team. And like learning about mental health as well, it's, um, it's very interesting. So with Jessica, it would be when we were coming back from the Boys and Girls Club and her favorite Beyonce song came on. I think it was the one that was like Flawless. And her Pandora has like a tendency to cut off whenever we're in a bad service area. So that's what it did. It was like in the intro, it was about to get to, to like the, the singing portion and it just cut off and Jessica just immediately started bawling out into tears. You, you could see the tears like, like running down. She was in an existential crisis, mental breakdown. It was the happiest moment. It was my happiest memory with her. My most meaningful memory was Laurent's first day of work. We had to drive to Riverside for a meeting and I was driving for, uh, back from Riverside and because I didn't know directions, Julio was yelling directions at me, Laurent was laughing, Stephanie was just staying quiet, probably on the verge of an emotional breakdown, and Nubia was also yelling directions at me. I started hysterically crying on the freeway, I had to pull over at Cabazon. We then went to go see the dinosaurs, and it was a fun, it was a fun time. There's one moment when I had, when we first started working, well there's a couple, but one of them, uh, when I, my first month, I want to say with Cup of Happy, we were doing outreach at the Palm Springs Street Fair, and um, we had a lot of clients come up. Not all of them were Tay. We had this one older gentleman come with his wife to the table and ask about what we do. Um, and he, when we told him who what we do is Cup of Happy, he started tearing up and told us about his experiences with substance abuse and his friends and their mental health situations and how um, he said maybe somebody will live because of what you guys do. That somebody will have a future because we're here to provide the resources. And that really hit home for me. And I think about it all the time. All the time. And he's not the only one that said that either. Many people have said because of what you guys do, um, someone will live. And that really just struck. Okay, I can't really think of the apex moment where I'm like, this was the best moment of this year. Well, because there's been so many good memories. I mean, there's the fun car rides with everyone. Overall, what I can think of is those moments where you actually bond with, with a, a teen, and you know they actually ask where you're at, or they write down on a piece of paper or on a surveys asking where you are, or the moments where they just want to talk to you, you know, more in one on one, and seeing them actually open up to you about something that's going on with them kind of makes you feel like, hey, you know. This is meaningful to them. 
uh, era once we me and one of the other members of Cup Happy we were rushing to um, the gas station to grab some snacks and throughout the time we were running towards the car we were jumping around saying parkour it was really fun and funny and it was just literally just jumping over little rocks and little curbs on the way to that person's car it was so far that's a favorite memory I couldn't stop laughing on the way to the, to the gas station <laughs>